ఢిల్లీలో కేంద్ర మంత్రి నిర్మలా సీతారామన్ మీడియాతో మాట్లాడుతున్నారు ఇప్పుడు ఆ లైవ్ చూద్దాం on all these the supreme court and in uh, when i say on all these in fact on each one of these the supreme court has clearly spoken i wish to just start my opening statement with a quotation from the verdict itself i quote in view of our findings on all the three aspects and having heard the matter in detail we find no reason for any intervention by this court on the sensitive issue of purchase of 36 defense aircraft by the indian government perception of individuals cannot be the basis of a fishing and droving inquiry by this court especially in such matters we thus dismiss all the writ petitions leaving it to the parties to bear their own costs unquote so the supreme court having gone through each one of these aspects which have been questioned one the decision making process itself to the pricing and on the offset partner has clearly given reasons why they don't think the writ petition holds any more on the process i would just like to say clearly stating the process has been complied with they clearly mentioned that our country cannot afford to be unprepared underprepared in a situation where our adversaries have acquired higher capabilities emphasizing on the need for the purchase with a sense of urgency they've of course said many more things on the pricing they've said despite the disinclination despite their disinclination the supreme court decided to comprehensively examine the case to satisfy its conscience since acquisitions have been made in the open domain of huge escalations in costs and notwithstanding the security agreement between the governments of india and france which provides for protection of classified information such as pricing details these details too were made available to the honorable supreme court in a sealed envelope the honorable supreme court has stated that we have again quoting it we have examined closely the price details and comparison of the prices of the basic aircraft along with escalation costs as under the original rfp as well as under the iga we have also gone through the explanatory notes on the costing item wise this unquote so the court very clearly says they've gone through the cost item wise and also compared it with the original rfp and the iga and finally we say no more again they say the court says we say no more as the material has to be kept in a confidential domain and finally on the offsets i'm only highlighting some of the uh, portions from the verdict of course uh, honorable fm will speak you are also going to be asking us questions i'm not taking more time on it on the offsets quote again we do not find any substantial material on record to show that this is a case of commercial favoritism to any party by the indian government as the option to choose the indian offset partner does not rest with the indian government further the honorable supreme court has mentioned court again in this process in this process the role of the government is not envisaged and thus mere press interviews or suggestions cannot form the basis of basis for judicial review by this court especially when there is a categorical denial of the statements made in the press by both the sides unquote so with this kind of a judgment i think it's fairly clear where uh, we need to be looking at now the very important one last very important observation which i draw your attention to is quote again adequate military strength and capability to discourage and withstand external aggression and to protect the sovereignty and integrity of india 
undoubtedly is a matter of utmost concern for the nation. The empowerment of defense forces with adequate technology and material support is therefore a matter of vital importance." Unquote. So I would only want to highlight that on all the three uh, heads on which concern was expressed in the writ, the court has come out clearly. The, the verdict is absolutely uh, there for all of us to see. The matter on Rafael has thoroughly been, through the court, laid to rest. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request uh, the Honorable Finance Minister to give you. There's been always a <coughs> fundamental difference between truth and falsehood. Truth always holds together. It explains everything. Falsehood is bound to fall apart. Indeed it has. Falsehood also has a very short life. In this case it was a few months. And falsehood uh, always lowers the credibility of its creator. The Rafale issue has each of these features. As the Raksha Mantri has just read to you, the disruptors have lost and they have lost on all counts. They have lost on the count that the need for this aircraft, a combat aircraft, was acute and necessary. The Air Force needed it. And therefore somebody has to answer a question that after shortlisting this purchase, both in terms of quality and cost, why was it virtually stopped if not abandoned in 2012? Why was national security compromised with? Why was the needs of the Air Force compromised with? The entire imaginary thought process, fiction writing, ki ek admi ne tay kar liya, Koi prize negotiation committee nahi thi, koi contract negotiation committee nahi thi, koi defense acquisition council nahi thi, koi cabinet committee on security nahi thi. Ye kya fiction writing chal rahi thi? Rashtriya Suraksha ke saath samjhauta karne ke liye. This was fiction writing which was compromising with national security. To sabse pehla bayan tha, wo ye tha ki 2015 का कि जो 2012 में तय हुआ उससे बेहतर टर्म्स के ऊपर ये एयरक्राफ्ट और इसकी वेपनरी खरीदी जाएगी किस दाम पर और क्या क्या वेपनरी होगी वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नेगोशिएशन कमेटी और परचेज नेगोशिएटिंग कमेटी का सब विषय होता है उसकी 74 74 मीटिंगें हुई Bakaida Sare processes Cabinet Committee on Security, Defense Acquisition Council, Sare Jo Vavastai has Sari Hui, or Court Ne Kahagi Amne Dekliaki Sare processes follow Hui. Price Ab Jitne bhi Kaval or Isme Kaval Rajanetic Neta Nahi.